Mustache and Hell is now out on the Nintendo Switch. So before I get into my personal review, you must know that the game boasts the feature perfect meeting of retro pixel art with an intimidating atmosphere in pure action battles, explorable environments for the discovery of secret items, mini puzzles to advance in some scenarios, small quests to access un available locations and items, Xbox controller or keyboard support, insane boss fights, and constant and challenging difficulty. Now on to my review. Based on the features that they claim, I can comfortably say that it's all there. Coming in at $5 on the Nintendo eShop American server, Mustache in Hell is a lot of fun in a little bit of time. The game lasted about 3 hours for me personally and that's because I was on and off playing it. Mustache in Hell is a side-scrolling action game developed by developed by Induna Soft Game Studio and published by Cubite Interactive. It's set in the depths of hell where players control the mustached protagonist as he battles hordes of demons in a relentless quest for survival. It is a pixel art graphic with a retro-inspired aesthetic. While the visuals may not push the boundaries of modern graphics as a 2024 game, they do suit the game's style and tone very well. The character designs are quirky. I even cracked up on one of the bosses. Bro, what is that? Okay. This was the first drawing that looked kind of choked. What? Hey, doggy, how about the, you trade me that cube for a bone? Okay, the drawing in the thing here is hilarious, though, but that drawing is crazy. What the hell is that? You'll probably see it in the background. And the environments are appropriately dark and ominous, creating a fitting atmosphere for the hellish setting without being too gory or dark. The gameplay mechanics of Mustache and Hell are straightforward yet challenging. My thumb fingers began getting sweaty after two hours of playing. Players must navigate through increasingly difficult levels, utilizing a variety of weapons and power-ups to overcome waves of enemies. The controls are responsive, allowing for precise movement and attacks, which are essential for surviving the relentless onslaught of demons. In terms of storyline, without giving away too many spoilers, because I'd love you guys to play it for yourself, while Mustache and Hell focuses more on the action than the storytelling, there is a simple narrative that provides context for the protagonist's journey throughout Hell. The humorous tone and occasional dialogue add some personality to the experience, but the story takes a backseat to the action-packed gameplay. In terms of sound, the game features a fitting soundtrack that complements the fast-paced action. The heavy metal-inspired tunes help immerse players into the hellish atmosphere, while the sound effects effectively convey the chaos of battle. Overall, the audio contributes to the game's intensity and excitement without leaving much to be wanted. In terms of replayability, Mustache and Hell offers not much replay value after you've beat out the game. However, you can go through its challenging gameplay multiple times, Players can strive to improve their performance, aiming for higher scores if need be, or faster completion times if you are a perfectionist, I guess. As additionally, the inclusion of unlockable weapons and upgrades encourages you to repeat the playthroughs to kind of see those cool weapons in action over and over again. The level design in Mustache and Hell is well crafted, featuring a mix of challenges like putting platforms together and enemy encounters. Uh, each level introduces new obstacles that are totally different and enemies keep the gameplay fresh and engaging. While some levels may feel repetitive at times, the overall pacing and the variety help maintain some interest. In terms of performance, there wasn't much issues. I mean, it is a pixel game. On the Nintendo Switch platform, Mustache and Hell performs very well with smooth gameplay and minimal technical issues. I think there was a glitch once or twice due to my Switch overheating. Uh, load times are very short and the game runs consistently providing a polished experience for players. So my thoughts. This is one of my first reviews back in a long time and I do believe that Mustache in Hell was a really good game. Of course, full disclosure, I did receive my copy as a review copy product from Keymailer. However, I mean, just because I got it as a review copy doesn't mean I had to give it a good review. But I am giving it 8 out of 10 stars. And I'll tell you why 8 out of 10 stars before we wrap up. I do believe that there could have been a few elements added into the game that would have made the experience even more so enjoyable. Like, for instance, a minimap. Also, probably some reward for collecting some hidden secrets 
that are in the game. Hopefully I didn't sell out all in the background. And also the opportunity to probably play the game over on hard, medium, super hard, impossible. To add a little more challenge to the already challenging game. However, besides those minor things, the game is awesome. My overall impressions and recommendations are that Mustache in Hell delivers a satisfying blend of retro-inspired action and challenging gameplay. While its visuals may not be the groundbreaking Legends of Zelda-style graphics that you're accustomed to in your dungeon kind of games, the game excels in its tight controls, intense combat, and slight replay value. Fans of classic side-scrolling shooters will find plenty to enjoy in this hellish adventure on the Nintendo Switch. Overall, Mustache in Hell is recommended for players looking for a fast-paced and challenging action experience at a fraction of the cost. It was your boy Firefox. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Stay tuned for more games coming soon. Let me know in the comments down below if you like games similar to this. Drop a like because it does help me push more content and do more videos like this. I hope you guys have a great day. Until next time, peace out.